the US is one of the most sought after destinations for studying abroad for Indian and international students. Undergraduate study in the US is very very expensive. On top of that, the process of getting scholarships and financial aid for international students is tough and quite complex. The average cost of a private institution is around $38,185 or 30 lakhs INR a year. And that's just for tuition and fees. When you include flights, housing and other costs, you can easily spend nearly a crore on a college. So in this video, let's talk about scholarships and financial aid, especially for international students. Before getting a scholarship, you need to calculate the total sum that you're going to need for completing your studies in the USA. This includes application fees, travel expenses, accommodation costs and tuition fees. This will give you a clear idea of how much you need and help you formulate a realistic plan to acquire these kind of funds. Think about your dream colleges and get information on their policies on scholarships and aid for international students because it varies from college to college. There are mainly two types of scholarship policies followed in the USA. There are need based schools and then there are need blind schools. Colleges or universities that follow a need blind approach do not consider the financial situation when deciding whether to accept an applicant or not. They won't ask you for any declaration about your family's financial status when they are deciding about your admission. Need blind colleges also assess applications solely based on the merit of an applicant. There are certain universities that will still offer 100% financial aid for demonstrated needs of students whose family income is below a certain level. For example, Brown University will provide you a 100% scholarship if your family income is less than $100,000 per year. Schools offering 100% of demonstrated need below a certain income include colleges like Brown, Cornell, Dartmouth, Duke, Haverford, MIT, Northwestern, Rice, Vassar, WashU in St. Louis and Wellesley. You have to understand the fact that the US government provides financial aid and federal funds to international students who have a low family income but they are still limited which means that there is going to be high competition between you and other students who have asked or requested for these federal funds. It also depends on the amount of scholarship you require which can range from 20 to 30% to 100%. The more the scholarship the more the competition in case of a need blind school but the more the scholarship amount the lesser the chances of you getting an admission in the case of a need based college. But once you enroll you do not have to worry a lot about your financial needs as the college is going to offer you a good package based on your family's low income. To sum it up, if you have an outstanding profile it's ideal to apply to need blind colleges irrespective of your financial need. On the other hand, if you have a good or average profile but have a genuine but partial financial need, it's better to apply for need based colleges. For international students, some of the top need blind colleges are MIT, Harvard, Yale, Princeton, Dartmouth, Haverford, Stanford and Amherst. Some of the top need based colleges are Northwestern, Brown, Columbia, Pennsylvania and Cornell University for international students. Now let's walk through the various steps you can do as an international student to get the necessarily funded scholarship you need to complete your education in the USA. Step 1. Research and analyze. Locate US universities that provide significant sums of financial assistance to high percentage of foreign students by referencing a good paid listing such as US News. Yes, the free info is unreliable. Look into all the colleges and figure out which are the best ones for you. Educate yourself on the financial assistance procedure for these colleges as well. Step 2. Get personal reviews. Connect with students who have obtained scholarship in the past. Social media is your lifesaver here. 
you should locate and meet with the person at your high school who is in charge of the application process or locate a mentor who can support you in this critical period email or call a college's admission department and talk with the mentor of the staff you could even consider having a session with an independent counselor student recommends visiting facs of the various colleges financial and aid offices step 3 showcase your usp make a point to put effort into your work and make a strong impression on your application make sure to scrutinize a small print on every college web page think about your deadlines demands and the real costs before you even start applying step 4 start early I cannot emphasize enough on this this is the most important point slow and steady won't win you the race here so be sure to start as early as possible on your applications that will be all for this video if you gained any kind of knowledge or information from this video please leave a like below and consider subscribing to our channel for future updates thanks for watching